Hello, hello, and welcome back. It's Games Revisited again. We're picking up at episode 44. And uh, continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia, this time with a mostly working PC. Uh, <laughs> or, well, definitely not one that is a uh, dumpster fire floating down a flooded road. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, on top of all the digital cruft, my uh, hard drive was failing, and a bunch of other issues. So uh, that's all settled. The only inconvenience, the only thing that's not working, is I normally have this microphone set on a direct monitor. So I can hear what it sounds like <laughs> as it goes out to the stream. That's the only thing that doesn't seem to be working. Oh, and the volume levels are a little... Uh, well, we'll see. Um, so, so other than that, everything's looking great. Good to see you back, Arcadius. We're going to pick up, and hopefully we should be able to finish up the pyramid today. Uh, because when we left, after all those cuts and skips and other problems, we just had one door left. It's door number six. Uh, so we had healed up. We turned into Frieden, because remember... Uh, of the rooms, some of them were best done by Shadow. Some of them were best done with... Well, some of them could only be done with Shadow because you had to uh, melt through the floor. Uh, some of them could only be done by Will because you needed his little spinny technique uh, to get over various ramps and things. And door number six technically does not require freedom, believe it or not. It's just easier that way. Uh, because he has the most versatile attacks. So, let's uh, head into door number six. Okay, I do still hear the music, so that's at least working right. And uh, away we go. After all the all these convoluted, complicated ones... That oh, hi. Yeah, he is the uh, hardiest of, of the bunch. And he's got decent reach, too. Which is always good. Oh. That would have been a place to go down with uh, Shadow. I wonder where that would have gone. Let's, uh, let's do this right. There we go. Um, oh, <laughs> clever, clever. I guess that would have been another way to go down, but uh, thankfully, there that is. Hiding in the middle of the mummy's tomb. Let's charge up another strike and uh, make the magic happen. Bam! Done! Easy. So much better than bludgeoning people with a flute. No, oh, same deal. Oh, hello good sir. corner. Not anymore. Okay. Uh, looks like we got one more. And then we should get a hit point boost. Where you at? There you at. Oh yeah. No? No? Oh, come on. There's 17 more guys. What are you talking about? Alright, run to the... Oh! Oh, hi. Oh. I forgot. You can't block the lasers. Oh, yeah. 
Let's, uh... Oh, there we go. Oof. No? Alright, as soon as we, uh... Clear out the rest of these guys... We'll get a hit point boost. Oof. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that just yet. I need to have one last talk with the mummy. Ooh. That took a little more than normal. Two guys left. Where are you at? There they are. Defense. I thought I was supposed to get a... Uh Oh, okay, so there, yeah, that is a defense boost. Wait a second. I was supposed to get a hit point boost somewhere in there. But that's everybody dead. That's... Alright, there is one guy left. Where's he at? Alright, he's not here. Is he over this way? Okay. tell me I can seriously only get to him from shadow? No. Oh, is this it? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Now we got our hit point boost. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, now I gotta get back to where I was. Nope, not up. That's the wrong direction. All right. Print. At least this is in Minecraft and you start losing health and energy and whatnot the more you run. All right. Uh, so... Down here, was it? Yeah, there we go, right? Uh, second moment, we saw him from the right. Okay, and that's everybody here. And there we go. So now we got the lithograph. Dun, da, 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 da. Yay. Alright, so we got our uh, lithograph stone. Go ahead and equip that for no good reason. Let's uh, jump in the portal. Walk to the left without a sound. Oh! Uh, seriously, dude. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. We were supposed to be followed by the Jackal. He's this guy that left a couple of mysterious notes way back in, like, episodes two and three. And the game just kind of mm, forgot about him. He, he was supposed to be this mysterious entity shadowing us this whole time. Hello, forgettable. I love your face. <laughs> I heard about an ancient biotechnology using a comet's light. I didn't know it was you. With the power to change body shape, you could get anything. People would bow at your feet. It's only natural that King Edward would trick you into this. Yeah, I I really I get I get the feeling that this is one of those things that ended up on the cutting room floor somewhere. Like I wonder if the director's cut of Illusion of Guy would have a little bit more to this jackal story. Oh well. My father? Yes. After all, that's the way kings are. He would do anything to get the power. He might even bore evil than a mercenary like me. <laughs> Stop it. Either way, if I make money, it's fine. Come with me to Edward Castle. A voice whispers in Will's head. Will, play the flute. Will. Am I going to turn to Will first? Okay. <laughs> it's like, it's going to be kind of hard to play the flute if I'm, uh, you know, freedin'. All right. Um, I only have Lola's melody left because all the other ones have disappeared. He softly played the melody he had learned from Lola. Lola, Lola, Lola. Oh, that still bothers me the way he plays a flute. That really bothers me the way he plays a flute. I cannot begin. All right, fine. Biting my tongue now. <laughs> what? Kara. Kara. <laughs> That's it. Keep backing up there, babe. That that's kind of the most anticlimactic ending for this guy possible. Will Why must everyone hate each other? I I Don't back into him, he's on fire. Like why would you back into the burning body? Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I got upset. You're doing your best to save the world. At first, I just wanted to find my father. But somehow it got to be a trial. But me, I don't regret coming on this journey. Let's go and find the fifth mystic statue. The melody you played became the Jackal's Dirge. Yeah, that stranger. That left a creepy note way back in like episode 2? And maybe another one over by episode 3. Ish. Adjacent. Alright. Um, let's equip this guy. He is at the sixth one from the left. I don't even have to check the book on that because it's the last one. There was a sound from over the entrance. Okay. Um, let me just double check something real quick. I want to make sure I'm not missing any gems because this is uh, we're we're out, we're on the home stretch. And to the right, three mummies, dead end, yada yada. Use a slot, mummies hole. Bird, more mummies, middle slot, bird head, guardians, ignore, nine mummies, five laser, laser balls, and a tomb guardian, yada yada, heading left, yada yada, defense. Alright, enter the door, grab the hieroglyph, fry jackal, exit the room. Okay. 
so we're getting ready to do the boss battle that that seems a how is his body still burning and b it seems kind of morbid to let you trample a dead man's burning corpse Ah, we got a new portal. Okay, before we do that, I need to do two things. First, I need to decide who I'm going to fight the Mummy Queen with. She's got about 40 hit points, and it's not its not the hardest boss battle we've done, but it's not going to be easy. But here's the thing. Shadow's got just a little more reach, and an extra attack, because Will deals one damage, Frieden does two, and Shadow does three. Shadow's got a little more reach, and he can do the Melton's of the Floor thingy to, um, to get out of danger pretty quick. On the other hand, Frieden, while he does one less damage, he does have the Dark Friar, which means you got range... And you can detonate it for more options, so you don't have to be, like, right there in the thick of things. And, yeah, that, that just seems... Yeah, I think I'm going to forego the damage for more combat options. So we'll do that. Alright, we'll... Talk and record our progress. And we'll also do a tool save state. That way we can jump back here easier. And I got three minutes left to episode 44. What are the odds we can beat the mummy in three to five minutes? We're going to take bets. All right, let's try this. The mummified queen of the pyramid appears. Quit or jump in. Jump in. Yeah. Oh, no. That's got to be. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. There's um two different levels to this. Don't mind me. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Hoop. Run away. Hoop. Oh, I thought I had better options there. Clearly I didn't. Dodge, dodge. I didn't time that one right. And that gives me an extra dodge. Oh! Run away! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away, get away! That was... Oh, that, that was so not the way I wanted to go. I'm dodging. I'm weaving. Oop. Uh, I can see where Shadow's aura might be better now. That that might have actually been my smarter move. Oh, oh no 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 no. I didn't want him. Oop. 
job. Oh, uh, why do I get the feeling I didn't quite time that one right? Although I'm still doing better than her health-wise, so... Oh! No, 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 no. I wanted to stay up. Oh, that doesn't cause her to freeze. Interesting. Nope. Oh. Fall away. Oh, that was less than smart. Where'd you get? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's avoid the wheel of pain. Got a hit, right? No, 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 no. Let's get out of the way. You know what? Ooh, I've only got four herbs. Let's see if I can make this without it. One of those has got a hit, right? Oh, yeah. She's almost dead. I can make this. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. This is getting a little close. This is getting a little close. Hit and run, hit and run. Charge up that Dark Friar. Because you got to hit the one ghost that's real to get her to reform. She's still getting her hit in, though. That's not good. I don't know why I do that. It's kind of funny. Oh. Oh, beautiful. We got her. Ha <laughs> ha Eh, six minutes. All right, not quite, you know, not quite the time I was hoping for, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, defeating the spirit of the pyramid, he obtained a mystic statue. Dun, da, 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 da. Ooh, that was off key. I am so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I heard a voice from the flute. The same voice I heard in the prison at Edward Castle. Will, you've done well to have come this far. Father? I am at the tower now. Bring the five mystic statues to the tower. The statues you've collected hold the key to the fate of humanity. Will, hurry. The comet is approaching. The voice of the flute quiets and disappears. It seems something terrible has happened that we don't know about. What to do? I was told to go to the Tower of Babel, but that little island. I hear Neil has built another airplane, very conveniently for plot purposes. No? Two on the nose? Two on the nose. It seems he's flying to the desert town. Let's go back there. All right. Before we have our talk with uh, Cousin Neil, this is where I'm going to go ahead and call episode 44 and say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. Uh, if you're new to the way that I do things, uh, the live stream is pre-recording of six episodes and they will go out on YouTube later. Except they'll roll out a little delayed, so 44 will go out tomorrow, 45 will go out the day after that, and so on and so forth, until all six episodes have gone through. Uh, assuming we've got six more episodes left of material, to be honest, because we're, we're, we're 
Tower of Babel is near the very end. So we'll see how long that takes. Anyway, if you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. Uh, whether you're watching live on Twitch or you're watching later on YouTube, there's a few ways you can help the channel out. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live. I stream almost every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And I may do the odd extra stream here and there, especially now that the computer's working properly again. And uh, Tuesdays I play Minecraft on the Coffee Craft server. Thursdays I do Games Revisited. And if you follow along, you'll always know when something goes live, and you can tell by the title just what's going on. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to YouTube. That way you'll know when new episodes, live stream archives, and various other bits get posted. Um, you know, do, do, do the whole bell thing if you want to get notified. We'll give it a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed the episode. Uh, any quips, comments, quips, uh, quotes, critiques, and other qualms and quandaries please feel free to enter in the comments i do actually read those and if you can consider supporting the show a little more directly i'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket and uh if you're enjoying the content if you're getting value out of it then consider giving a little value back go to live.anonjunior.com that'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate however you want to think about it there's no set amount because that I leave up to you. This is a straight up value for value thing. So whatever value you're getting out of it, please consider consider giving a little bit of that value back. And uh, if you're watching live, then give me a minute to uh, get things squared away for the next episode. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow.